tour with Exodus, Obituary, Prong, and King Parrot. Yes. Massive lineup. How's yeah. that going with all the bands? You guys getting uh, along great? Yeah, all the bands were uh, getting along great. Everyone's cool. We hang out and stuff. And uh, the shows have been doing really well. The fans are responding. Yeah. It's a good tour package. And have you known each other for quite a while? You must have met these guys through um, the years and stuff. Through the years, met various people in Exodus and Prong. But I uh, really got to know it mostly on this tour. And the new record, 10,000 Ways to Die, you've done like two new songs on that and 11 yes. live songs? Yeah, two new studio songs and the 11 live songs were recorded on the Cannibal Tour in the US, Cannibal Corpse Tour in the US in April. And the songs are in order as our set list was, but they were recorded in different cities. Oh yeah, and there's yeah. one in Canada as well. There, I, I think, think so, yeah. And, uh, we kind of, we put that EP, the 10,000 Ways to Die out to, to kind of keep the fans, um, you know, tie the fans up for a few months until our new record comes out in March. Oh cool, I was going to yeah. ask about that. Yeah. So is that being recorded or already recorded? It's recorded. Oh. Uh, we actually finished up a couple of the guitar tracks on the road. Ken had to do some leads and Trevor. Oh, nice. Yeah, so just got finished mix, it's mastered. Now the record label has it relapsed. So it's in their hands now, so. And the release date is March? Uh, the middle of March. Oh, yeah. Which we start a tour at right at that same time in the US. Yeah. And, um, and England Blood was your first record with with obituary, yes. How is that different to recording other albums with other bands? I know you've known obituary yeah. since high school or something. Have you? Yeah, I've known I've known this guy since the mid '80s, since yeah. high school. Um, it was great recording, in the way we record with obituary because, in our practice space, we have our studio, so oh, okay. you can take your time. It's a very relaxed environment, you know. Yeah, you can't get any more relaxed. Exactly, you just show up, you know. And, 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 that's where we also practice, so I you know the environment. Sometimes the studio can be intimidating. If you're in a different studio, you don't know the layout, the atmosphere might be weird to you and everything. But yeah, um, yeah I, I've, I've been with the Bitch since 2010, but you know, first time to record was 2014. It's a great experience. And who produced the new album? The new album is the same guy that produced the 10,000 Ways to Die album, uh, Joe Sincata. Cool. He's also a suffocation sound man. He runs sound for us in states. He's, he's mixed some suffocation stuff. He does body count sound cool. live. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So is that how suffocation and body count ended up touring together? Or probably they through, the yeah. same. <laughs> yeah, I wondered how that happened. Yeah, probably from him. Yeah. 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 And I want to go back, to like right at the beginning of your career. Sure. Like, what was what made you want to play the bass? Like, what was your first interest in music? Um, you know, I'm, I'm a child of the 70s, basically, so, you know, Kiss was like one of my, you know, early on bands that I wanted to be like, yeah. playing guitar to Kiss, you know, so I always wanted to play the guitar, but um, we started getting into metal, you know, around in the early 80s, and uh, underground stuff, you know, I just gravitated towards the bass, and, uh, you know, I, pr I bought a bass and I was fooling around at home, and my best friend, Bill Andrews, who had the band Massacre going at the time, they just got rid of their bass player, and I knew all the songs because I was at every practice. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> so I just took my bass and went over and slid right in and started playing, and um, you know, one thing led to another, and you know, 30-something years later, I'm still doing it. <laughs> yeah, and so how yeah. long were you, because I know you did the touring for, for Death, for, for yeah. the Scream Bloody Gore, Lemonsy, and Spiritual Healing. Yeah. How long were you playing bass before you were in Death? Not very long, uh, probably less than a year. Yeah. 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 Uh, when I joined, I joined Massacre. We were together for about six months. Uh, I've been playing bass probably a few months before that. You know. Yeah. I was a late bloomer. You know, I didn't get to do the whole start when you're 11 and do cover songs and stuff. I yeah. went right into the fire head Straight first. Into <laughs> massacre indeed. Yeah. Excellent. But uh, yeah, so that it was a ride. You know, it's awesome. I you know got to be in those bands and be on those records and stuff. It's amazing. So you would have been one of the last people to write with Chuck Schuldner because he uh, wrote all the albums after Spiritual yeah. Healing his own. Um, his yes, own. James Murphy and myself, yeah. uh, along with Chuck, wrote Spiritual Healing. I think James co-wrote four songs with Chuck and I also co-wrote four songs. Yeah. Yeah, that was the last because, you know, certain things happened at the end of Spiritual Healing that uh, 
I guess Chuck, you know, he decided, well, that's it, you know, I'm just going to write all the music and blah, 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 or whatever. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, every record from then on was just him writing. Just him writing and different musicians at every turn. But, yeah. You know, that's, that's that. But. And how was it writing with him? Was it, it was great. inspiring or was it kind of difficult or was no. it at the time it was flowing good? And it was flowing. I mean, he was very open minded. I got along great with Chuck. You know, we were really good friends. Yeah. Uh, no problem. Anybody had any kind of ideas, you bring it right to the table, you know. No, no problem at all. I mean, Bill Andrews had a lot of ideas for that record, but as an industry goes, you know, it's really hard for drummers to get their name on the royalties and writing because. People consider drums, you know, I don't know. Making Lame. drum patterns. <laughs> I agree. Making drum, <laughs> making drum patterns, they say, is not writing music, which I disagree with, but whatever. But, um, yeah, Bill was very involved with that, too. But it was a great time, you know. Uh, Death Metal was really starting to take off, and the music we were writing on Spiritual was kind of evolving into something a little more like melody with the heavy stuff, you know, combined, yeah. which is not really done that much at that point, so. And the idea from leprosy to that was to go a bit more technical, was it? I yeah, mean, I mean, it's just an evolution. Chuck always wanted, I mean, we always used to listen to a lot of French metal bands, like, you know, Sword Ledge and City Jones. We also listened to a lot of Watchtower and stuff. So he just always wanted to improve as a musician. And in his eyes, you know, if your record was progressive each other time, you know, you're improving. So, you're moving forward. Yeah. yeah, so that's just kind of his mindset, you know. He didn't want to put out six albums in a row that sounded like Screaming or, or Leprosy, you know, just one of them. And for death, that, that worked. I mean, some other bands, your sound is your sound, you don't, you know, like Motorhead, yeah. ACDC, Obituary, yeah, it's just, yeah. it's all this, you know, whatever. But yeah. but yeah, it was a great time. And there's some documentary coming out next year about uh, death and Chuck and yeah. interviews with all the members. Yeah. I know you were a part of that. Yeah. Is that all complete and ready for release? I think it's or? ready for release. Uh, it's getting shown in a few small places, uh, as far as I know. And yeah. what's the name of that? Death by Metal. And do you know the release date or anything? I, I know. Um, I know they've shown it in a few places. I don't know of any official release date yet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it might be on Facebook. Yeah, um, yeah it'll be on Google somewhere, yeah, but I'll we'll keep an eye out for it. Yeah. And just uh, past members you've worked with, like, Bill Andrews, you were talking about, is he still playing? I haven't heard of anything of him for he, years. He's not playing anymore, but um, he lives in Japan. And he moved to Japan about 15 or 20 years ago, married a Japanese lady, and he loves the culture. And he lives here. Um, and I, I keep in contact with him regularly. Oh, but, cool. Yeah, but he, he kind of faded away from playing drums, you know. Yeah, I've looked him up and yeah. tried to see what he's doing because I loved his drumming. Yeah. Back on those two albums yeah. and on. Massacre Records. Yeah. And what about Greg Gall? Is he still playing? Yeah, actually, he. Um, I'm in a little side project with him called Hideous. Oh yeah. It's just kind of old school for Ash Death Metal, you know. Like. Not reinventing the wheel, but you know, just some cool, cool stuff. Is it similar to Grimson. Um. Yeah, but not quite as deppy. Yeah. I, to describe it, it's kind of like. Uh, I don't know. Slayer meets Six Feet Under-ish, kind of, you know, kind of little groovy parts, kind of thrashy parts, but it's just something to do for fun. We're fixing to put out a two, three song demo. Yeah. Just, you know, shop it around, see what happens. But yeah, he's, he's drumming again. That's good. He's been doing some little dr some drumming pieces here and there for some other side projects around Tampa, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, And he's your brother-in-law, right? Yeah, he is. He married, married my sister. Did that happen before Six Feet Under? Yeah, he, yeah. So that's how you met? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I've known Greg since like 83, 84. We met at a Nasty Savage concert in Tampa. Oh, cool. So I've known him for a long time. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. And out of all the bands you've been in, I don't think you've, you've never been to New Zealand, have you? No, I'd love to go to New Zealand, actually. Yeah, yeah. so I was wondering if there's any talk or a we're, with the obituary of going to Australia and maybe New Zealand. Yeah, we, we're actually talking with our booking agent about getting to Australia and Japan sometime around um, May 2017. Cool. So hopefully New Zealand's in that. There's yeah. a picture there. I'd love to go there. And uh, one last question. What do you think about uh, your new President Trump? <laughs> well, it, you know, I, I kind of like it in a way. I mean, 
it's like he, I know he says things, you know, he says things like a guy at a bar would say. Yeah. I mean, I'm on the road a lot, and I hear this kind of talk all the time backstage. Yeah, stupid things. Like. He says stupid things. Hillary's actually done stupid things. It actually hurt and has killed people. And with Hillary, you're going to get four more years of, of Obama, and I don't want that. And I understand everyone's concerns about Trump, you know, you know, building a wall, but hey, what's wrong with protecting your borders? In this day and age, there's people that want to kill you and everything about you. If you don't believe in their religion, or you don't look the way they do, or do what they want you to do, they're just going to kill you. We see it all the time. You know, Paris, the Vatican, um, yeah. Brussels Airport, I can name hundreds of incidents, you know. What's wrong with protecting the borders? I don't have a problem with that at all, so. We'll see. It's going to be interesting, definitely. It's definitely <laughs> going to be entertaining. And, I mean, he gave a good speech, and hopefully... The victory speech? The, yeah. Hopefully the Democrats work with him, and because we're all Americans, let's work together and whatever, and not be divided, you know. Yeah. We'll see. Well, good luck with that, man. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thanks a lot for thanks talking for to us. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent.